Please be seated. The, um, we'll talk about the movies um, last night uh, and what the takeaways are. But, um, and normally I comment about some of the YouTube guys' comments, uh, death threats, etc., that I get on a daily basis. Um, and then, uh, depending on the homework that you get at the night before, will depend on whether we cover it first thing in the morning or when, in conjunction, when it's um, um, apropos vis a vis the slides where we are. Every night I go back, like tonight I'll go back, and I'll change the slides around because I have 2,200 slides, a little less, 2,200, I think, Kat? Yeah, 2,150 or something like that. And some I don't use um, because we pounded the points to death here. Uh, some um, I add more, depending. Also, I, dep uh, I changed the, um, not the script, but the order slightly, depending on who needs what. Um, the, um, uh, where's Fiddler? Oh, um, when he was here last time, we talked more about a couple of subjects because they were germane to him. Um, and they were also germane to the entire audience, or the whole group. Uh, so it'll change. It'll change. And the fact that uh, Fiddler and uh, Dennis have been here recently, and this is their second time around, they'll, they'll, they'll see some of the changes. There's no apropos time for questions. Uh, and I remember I said, there are stupid questions. Now, you were told to, you weren't asked to. You were told to read every fucking thing. We had put a list on the email. There were podcasts, etc. listed. I will bet both of my testicles that 95% of you in this room did not do that. Why do I, why do I take, make such a bold statement? Because I've been doing this a long fucking time. And you're the good ones. The morons are watching on YouTube. If I, when I was going to visit my mentor, and I'm going to be your mentor for the next year, uh, Mr. Grazos, the CEO of Anassas Group, etc. If he told me, he says, Mr. Pena, I would, I would suggest that you read this so we can discuss it next time we get together. Guess what? I fucking read it. I don't feel like the Lone Ranger. All of the people that are come here basically are dipshits. But you're a higher class of dipshits than the ones watching on YouTube. Now that shouldn't make you feel good. So I'm not saying it to you to make you feel good. I'm just trying to put you in perspective why so few people are high performance. Because it's a hard motherfucker, that's why. And if it were easy, and I've been saying this maybe five or eight years, it was so goddamn easy, and a couple of things we're going to look at um, first, there'd be a QLA shop on every corner like Starbucks. And to the best of my knowledge, nobody's opened up a QLA shop. Now, we have guys putting tattoos on their bodies, and uh, tattooing the five credos on the forearm, we have that, which I, only this year, this is the first time that's ever happened. And coincidentally, both of those individuals are doing very well. They're the head of their class. Now, is it a coincidence? I don't think so. He's got a big QLA assassin on his chest. He's a big um, Dutchman. And the other guy is a, uh, uh, Chinese guy. But every time he takes a shower and he looks in the mirror, what does he see? That's the theory about back in the old days, Marines, Navy guys, Army guys got tattoos. So, you know, the, to their mother and to the, the core and that kind of stuff. That's how it started. Unfortunately, it, it, it got ugly because now, uh, you know, fucking creeps basically have tattoos. Okay. Now, for some of you, this is the pot at the end of the rainbow for you being here. For some of you, 
it'll be the pot of the end of the shit and not the rainbow. This week will change your life. And we're going to talk about mad dogmatics and we're going to talk about Trump later on. Uh, but you can see that uh, we're already prepared. Uh, and uh, the, uh, it's hard to relate to the fervor that is gripping the United States, unless you've served in the military. Because unless you, if you haven't, you, you, you can't relate to it, because it seems psychotic, it seems something sick, something's not right. But if you have served, it just makes a lot of sense. It just makes a lot of sense. And we're going to talk about, every day, the areas of the economy, the areas of um, the world that are going to benefit by a Trump administration. <coughs> Simply, and the most the easiest is defense. Aerospace. These are no fucking brainers. Yet the people that are watching this cocksucker and you will spreadsheet the fuck out of it, because I you can't connect the fucking dots. If you can't connect the aerospace, it's going to go like this. You should go and well, I can't. I uh, we have a new disclaimer. Metaphorically, you should go swallow a revolver. Because some of you, you still look at me. You can't. You don't understand. Why is that? What the fuck happened to you? Now, I know what happened to the people in Scotland, but I'll get into that. Believe me, after living here over 30 years, we got a couple of Scots here. But this is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, not just because you're here, but for the economy. The Trump bump, the Trump era, the Trump rally will spill into the rest of the world. And as I said almost a year ago, if he decides to run, and if he's fucking serious, he will change the motherfucking world. And it's only just begun. If anything in my seminar offends you, blame your parents for raising a fucking pussy. With one or two exceptions in this room, you're all cunts. And cunts isn't a isn't a, uh, a, a word that reviles you enough. Now I call you vaginas. A stiff drink and a good fuck would kill every man in this room. I want to say it again. A stiff drink and a good fuck. You don't even know what a good fuck is. Do you understand how foreign that is to somebody like me? Or Trump? I told you last night at dinner, this is what the Russian foreign minister said. So many pussies on both sides. That's why we're lucky that Trump wants to make amends with Russia. As horseshit as that sounds. Because they will eat our fucking lunch. They will chop us up like goose liver. I served on the old Iron Curtain. And we were lucky the Iron Curtain came down. They would have gobbled us like fucking caviar. Because they have no rules of engagement. Now, I'm not going to get into what that means. But as Mad Dog Matt has said, and, and I have a bunch of his sayings here because I'm not familiar with them enough, but um, you got to be nice, you got to do this, you got to make sure you're doing the right stuff. But then you run towards the gunfire, you kill everybody, and they'll write about it for 10,000 years. So they're not probably writing good things if they're going to write about it for 10,000 years, are they? It's ugly things. Things that make you feel uncomfortable. And that's why a stiff drink and a good fuck would kill all you guys. And the women are thinking, God, I mean, what, are we going to learn about that too? Would you read this for me, please? What the fuck that means? What the fuck? It doesn't get better than this for me as a coach. 
attention, but I see so many of you that don't think of me. Mm. This, this is as good as it gets for me. And none of you in this room are in as poor a position as this kid was. Nobody in this room. But he's out there making it happen. And you'll better appreciate and understand why he can make it happen and you will struggle. And you will struggle. I've been called a lot of things in my life. But I am a Neanderthal. There's no question about that. It's only in the last 30 or 40 years when I see an attractive woman, I can I fight off the thing of just going to punching the guy out that is with him and dragging her into my cave. Only recently have I overcome that urge. And guess what? Women loved it. And as a single man, I got more toilet, than, uh, more ass in a toilet seat at a bus station. Everybody understand that? And now they give courses on how to get laid. How to, oh, God almighty, what has happened? Are you fucking kidding me? How to meet women. You grab my you know, what the fuck has happened to the planet? Political correctness happened. And I knew. And Donald was low key during the uh, pre election. He was low key. Just remember that. This is who are the most successful in this program and that are on the Hall of Fame. Riding through like the four horsemen, you're going to be the fifth horseman of the apocalypse. And you don't have to be an alpha male. And that's on my side. Do I have to be an alpha male? No. But the two least looked at links on my side, and I've said this when I told the Oxford kid just to go flabbergasted. One, how do you get the fucking money? And two, deal flow. If you're really serious and you don't look at deal flow and you don't look at how you get the fucking money, what are you doing? And as I asked the kids at Oxford, which was a great experience for me, it's a better experience for them. Um, some little meek Oxford kid in about the third row said, I guess we're not serious. I almost fucking fainted on the stage. Because you're not. You pretend to be want to be successful because it's vogue now. It's like smoking a joint, which I haven't done, but my kids tell me. It's a social thing to do. This is the evolution that we've come to. And there we are now. Go back. We fucked up everything. That's where we are. And the, the election of Donald Trump in the United States did two things. It's a complete repudiation of the fucking Obama administration. And two, it's a repudiation of, of political correctness. See you later, YouTubers. Go fuck yourself.